And then oh. you just have Maj constantly placing in here. Nice work from Ethan, though. And he does have some what? support. He doesn't even need it. This man seems to be the master of the SMGs. It was the Stinger in the last map, the Spectre in this one. And after a five-round streak, this is the best chance they've had. But Demon 1 will again go amiss as Mr. Farland has managed to take him down. But look at what the, the weaponry that EG have brought in. Two judges that'll have to retake if they lose this B side. I mean, they've got to maintain control. Orbital strike in play, it's causing problems. Ethan's gonna be dropped after the one, but Cracks went down to the ulti. Bustio still holding strong on the side, buys them a little bit more time. And now it's those judges from before. The nade in good position, but he can't follow through. It forces him out of his spot into the open. But that's not good enough with a judge in hand. Four bullets. Mr. Fallen needs to swap that over. He knows where that player is coming from now, at least, so the plant can be found. I like the... Oh. Sorry, I was going to say I like comms I did a reposition down through long and grab one of the weapons the instead. He is going all the way around. It's definitely the, the least expected of all of the options. I, I don't think there's any world where Mr. Fallen is watching back towards the spawn. This is the most five-head play I think I've ever seen. He still has a judge. There's no reason for Mr. Fallen to begin to check this, but it has come into his head that this could be the chance! I don't know how Mr. Fallen read that one, but it's the ace to have leveled it at the break. A six to six score line. This started out convincingly in EG's favor and now starting to slip away an ace even to close this one out. As we said, the judges on the retake, they have a pretty big disadvantage. Even a classic in that final fight that leaves Mr. Fallen on two HP. It's a narrow margin. But that's the margin by which foot gets...